Hello, and welcome back to A for Space. And in this episode, we are going to continue on our discussion of the first planet of our solar system, Mercury. Now, in this video, we're going to be covering what Mercury's orbit was like in the past and what will be like in the future, and comparisons between Mercury and Earth. Now, in my previous episode, I spoke what Mercury's orbit is like right now, but I haven't mentioned what it was like in the past, or what it will be like in the future. Now, I mentioned that Mercury has an unusually large iron core. This has made scientists question the theories of planet formation, and some of them think that little Mercury didn't form like that. It formed as a larger planet, nearly, it could have been nearly twice the size of Mars, and was further away from the Sun. But then, Mercury got hit by a protoplanet in a head-on collision. A head-on collision is like this. And this ripped away its mantle and left behind the dense iron core. This also pushed it closer to the Sun. But there is a problem with this theory. Mercury contains volatiles. Now volatiles are fragile elements like potassium that form during the planet's formation. But the shock wave, the really intense shock wave from a head-on collision would almost instantaneously wipe them out. A new theory suggests that Mercury had a collision with a larger body, but it didn't hit it head on, because if it hit it head on, Mercury would be gone. So it grazed by that, and that bro broke off some of its mantle. And because it was a grazing collision, there wasn't as much energy. So the volatiles would have survived, but what body did Mercury collide with? Sometimes scientists think that Mercury always formed further away and potentially between the orbit of Venus and Earth. So the grazing collision could have been with either of these two planets, and because of their pull of the collision and the angle, it resulted in it pushing it closer towards the Sun. Now, what will Mercury's orbit look like in the future? Now, Mercury's orbit is being slowly destabilized. Over time, the gravity of Jupiter and the other rocky planets, because of this, Mercury's orbit will start to unravel a bit and enter the orbit of Venus and, getting, and maybe even pushing towards Earth's orbit. And who knows, Mercury might end up crashing into the evil of the planets. Now, let me share some comparison facts between Mercury and Earth. Mercury is only slightly bigger than Earth's moon. It's about one third the size of Earth. A day on Mercury would definitely feel a lot longer because one Mercury day is about 55 Earth days. However, a year on Mercury be a lot shorter because one Mercury year is about 88 days. It means that Mercury takes 88 days to go around the Sun. Now, the average temperature on Mercury is a bit warm because it's about 220 degrees Celsius, not ideal conditions for life, and the highest goes to over 400 degrees Celsius, and the lowest below negative 100 degrees Celsius. 
Um, I don't think anyone would be want to go there. Uh, Mercury's atmosphere is extremely thin. It's pretty much non-existent. This means no breathing on Mercury, unless you have a spacesuit. Yeah, I don't think going to Mercury is a good idea. Now, a big question for all of us is, can humans be able to live on Mercury? Now, this is something I'm going to leave you to think about. And I will see you in my next episode of, on, well, Venus. Violent Venus. Thank you for watching.